Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on the Google Ads Mastery playlist. And this is our third video on keyword research. That's right. We've not just done one, two, but we're doing three videos on different ways to do keyword research. We've already covered how to use competitor websites to come up with keyword ideas. We've looked at how to use Google Keyword Planner to come up with keyword ideas. And in this video, we're going to use a third party tool like SEM Rush to figure out how to do keyword research well with professional level tools. Just a quick reminder, if some of you are looking to book one-on-one -on -one consultations with me, the link is in the description and I have limited slots remaining for this month. And having said that, let's get into this video. So if you've not checked out the last two videos, we basically used Google Keywords Planner to come up with a list of keywords and we used the related websites method also to come up with a list of keywords. We've assumed that we are running a table business here, something similar to, let's say, IKEA's this one page. And there are these different kinds of tables and we're, we're selling all of that, right? And with that in mind, we did some keyword research in the last two videos. You can check that out. And in the third video, we're going to look at a tool like SEM Rush. Now, this is not an advertisement. I have no business relations with SEMrush, but this is one of the best tools available out there. There are others as well, which you can definitely feel free to use. This is an expensive tool for sure. $140 per month is not cheap. Now, what I'd recommend is that take, the, take up the free trial and use that to do your keyword research, download all the keyword ideas, and then you can choose to probably not use SEMrush. But they are incredibly powerful, so I would recommend using at least the free trial to get a list of your keywords. So I'm logged into SEMrush now and keep in mind you do have to connect your credit card to start your 7-day trial. And if you're unwilling to pay for the actual subscription, then do remember to cancel your subscription before the end of the 7 days. But now that we're here, let me quickly show you how to take full advantage of these tools and download as many keyword ideas as possible. So let's click on the search bar and, and start typing some keywords. So I searched for tables in the United States, search on desktop, the currency is set to USD, right? And I can see a lot of these data points here. What I'm most interested in is keyword ideas for now. And look at the number of keyword variations. There are like over 5 million keyword variations here. Now, if you recall in the last video when we did this on Google Keyword Planner, it came up with, I believe, about 8,000 to 9,000 odd keywords. And here itself, you can see how much powerful a tool like SEMrush is. Let's look at all the keywords. So this is the list. Of course, when we write just table, this can go all the way from periodic table to pizza table to pool tables. And a lot of these things can come up here, right? SEMrush also helps us identify an intent behind these keywords. So these are informational keywords. Then there are transactional keywords. There are, in, there are navigational keywords. And then there are also commercial keywords. Along with this, we get to see rough volumes. We can also see keyword difficulty. Uh, there is an average value of cost per click if you're going to bid on these keywords. Now, keep in mind that these numbers are just averages and in reality could, could be something very different as well. On the left hand side, we can also see these keywords bucketed by group. It is similar to how we saw this on Google as well, but because the keyword volume here is just so high, this becomes a lot more powerful. So we can see all of these buckets and each bucket has their own number of keywords. So let's say we were more interested in furniture and inside furniture. Let's say we were looking at outdoor tables. So now I have a list of outdoor tables and there are roughly 800 keywords, right? So I could select them all and export it out. Export them as a CSV or an Excel. I've exported all the keywords here into our Google Sheet and now we have all of these keywords here that we can actually use to start advertising on Google search ads. And that's about it for this video. We've already gone through how to do keyword research in three different ways, related or competitor websites, the Google Keyword Planner, and now we've also looked at a tool like SEM Rush. In the future videos, we'll also look at negative keywords and how to use them well. We'll also look at match types like your broad keyword matches or phrase keyword matches, exact matches, and things like that. 
And if you're looking for my help one on one on your project, you can book a consulting call with me. The link is in the description. I'm going to see you in the next video of the Google Ads Mastery playlist.